What's up, guys? Iceman here. So, this guy was going to trade me two OOCs. My two OOCs for his Melee Splash slash IS Jewel. And it looks like uh, I'm about to get it. He couldn't join a normal game, so I left, came back, and I have the two OOCs in hand. So I'm hoping this motherfucker decides to hook me up. <laughs> I don't think he's really feeling it so much. Let's take a look at this gear. He's godly. Look at this. Four socketed. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's feeling this so much because... He wanted three OCs for it, and I joined his game, and I didn't have it. Ooh. I said only... Oh, you son of a bitch. Hmm, Titans, though. Not bad. Maybe he'll take this. Oh! Oh, thought he showed me it. Deal. What a toad. A fat, slimy little toad. I would squish that toad with my boot. <laughs> okay, so I'll go uh, OOCs for Titans. How about OOC for Titans? Come on, dog. So, yeah, we're going to roll an Infinity. It's going to be Absolute Toad. I uh, I just got a Giant Thresher. This is for another guy as well. What? You son of a bitch. Come on, dude. Come on, you son of a bitch. Just trade with me. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. He gives a little handout for you. <laughs> uh, hell no. All right, so free Scalder's Iron. <laughs> All right, so looks like I'm going to make Infinity now. I, so give me just a minute. What's up, guys? Iceman here. So I wasn't quite able to get my IES slash melee splash jewel from that little toad. But fortunately, this guy actually gave me a handout because I said he wasted my time in shit. So he threw down this Scalder's Eye. It's an absolute toad. I could probably get an IES splash jewel easily with this. So I'm going to list this shit on the website for cheat as fuck. So nonetheless, I attained this giant thresher some time ago. I found this Baroon from Shank way back, uh, like day and a half, two days in the ladder, I found this thing from Shank, man, it was Toad. Didn't find shit for a while. Then, just yesterday, a Sir Rune falls in this new area. I can't remember what the place is called. I think it's Dim Cellar. It looks like the place over here in the harem. It looks like that place. You know, there's Toad as fuck enemies, man, and this thick ass motherfucker um, just beat the shit out of everyone there, this boss. And I died two or three times, lost a lot of experience. We couldn't take him, man. He was called the root of all evil. He was strong as fuck. As strong as a toad. So he beat the shit out of us. But then I hit up my boy, Fart Macoss. And fortunately, he was down with coming by. He brought this war cry barb. And he was war crying at this, this monster. And he killed it. I don't know how the fuck he did it. He just kept... War crying, go, 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 and it stunned him and shit. And uh, I just saw that thing's health just continually go down. It's fucking cray cray. His is war cry barb. It wears silence in a berserker axe. It wears enigma. It wears some godly rare circlet and wizard spike. Some crazy fucked up gear, man. But he killed that boss. I couldn't believe it. 
But nonetheless, in that dim cellar is where I found this Sir Room. This assassin joined the game, right? And we was running. I made a public game and I made the map. I died. Fucking swarm of enemies around my Amazon's body. I say, hey man, could you help out? Fortunately, the assassin takes the portal. She beats the shit out of enemies and I get to my body. Then we both go run down this way, right? In this direction. And I kill a few enemies, she kills a few enemies, and all of a sudden this sir room falls. That was fucking cray cray. We're both slowed, right? Like decrepify. So we both click at the rune and we're both walking toward it slow as fuck. And I just barely grab it before him. And I say like, well, damn me found goody or some, or some shit like that, I don't even know. And uh, <laughs> he wasn't pleased with that, man. That assassin took off. And I said, hey, that's what you get for helping me out. And then he was like, what the fuck you mean by that? He was like, I'm the one who got the sir. Or you're the one who got it. I didn't get it. That's just how shit went, man. But yeah, that assassin took off. I felt kind of like a dick. I ain't gonna lie. But I like to play finders keepers, you know. And he was trying to get it too. So that's just how shit goes. How did I get the burr rune? I got the second burr. I traded the wind force, the 50s wind force for Burr. So here we go. We're going to create an infinity. It's going to be absolute toad. Burr mal burr ist. This giant thresher has a great attack speed for Mercs. Shitty damage. There's the infinity. I don't know, what's what's the range? Is it 150 to 200? I don't even know what it is. This Barb Burk served me well. I'm going to miss this motherfucker. He was wielding Lawbringer Greetings. and Treachery and Steel Shade. So I'm going with a Combat Merc. Let's see what we got here. Is there an 88? No, there's not. There's 87. 87 Combat Merc who has uh, Prayer. Look at that. It's going to be godly. Here's my Barb's gear. Gets the treachery. Shitty res. Gets the steel shade. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, now I can run some endgame content, I'm thinking. I don't know if uh, these newer maps are going to have some enemies where Infinity does not break their lightning immunity. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any idea. There's T5 now. It's in the River of Flame area. It looks just like this T5. So that's what T5 is, all right? A lot of folks think they have T5 maps, but they're just some of the new ones. But T5 looks like this shit. And there's little trees. There's trees around, all right? It's called, like, I don't know what it's called, but it's fuck. There's trees and shit, and there's lava. That's, that's the actual T5. And it, I don't know if there are enemies there who are light immune and Infinity cannot break their immunity. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any idea. So there's my Merc, he's attacking pretty fast. I need one additional IS jewel in his helm. Right now he just has a straight up splash jewel. So I need to get an IS slash splash jewel in this helm. Steel Shade already comes with 15 IS. Because then he's gonna hit the uh, 75 IS breakpoint with the Giant Thresher. So yeah, he's gonna be attacking pretty damn fast. So I need to trade for one of those. I was going to give that guy three OCs, but I, I missed it because I couldn't join him in time. I'm going to miss having that Barbarian because he was cast into Crapify and he survived like a, like a true hog. But um, hopefully this will, you know, be more than worth me having an Infinity now. Oh, shit. Okay, it was lagging. So we'll go to the River Flame real quick. It's going to be kind of a pain in the ass because I don't have a way to teleport. I think I might put a Holy Thunder on Switch with teleport charges or one of those staffs. Uh, now nah, just staff. Now nah, just puzzler I think is what it is. But yeah, see, because you can't control your Merc. But fortunately, Infinity actually has a really nice radius in Path of Diablo. Uh, it's been extended a little bit, so I think it's 20 yards now where it used to be less than that. So I don't know how much further. I think it's like a quarter, 
an additional 25% further than what it used to be or something like that. But yeah, see these guys, it's not on them yet and they're light immune, so... I'm gonna have to deal with this shit for a while until I ultimately get Enigma. Which of course has a two second cooldown in Path of Diablo, but nonetheless... Um, you don't want to teleport that much anyways, Amazon, because she just straight up sucks with her cast rate. I'll show you her armor. Oh, she's, yeah, the, the lightning, these guys are highly resistant to it, and I think it's only one-fifth in terms of its effectiveness um, after their lightning immunity is broken. So you really have to cut into that with more, with additional negative uh, enemy lightning resistance gear. So, but yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be pretty toad, I think. So I'm looking forward to running the endgame maps of this stuff. There's my Merc, he still doesn't have his uh, Treachery Fade cast just yet. These guys are light immune, obviously. So, it takes a little bit of patience, you know. That's why often folks back in the day, they just say, fuck it, I'm going to go Lightning Sword. Because then I always control my Merc. But it's achievable with the Amazon, I think. A little less so in Path of Diablo, but fortunately it has a greater radius, at least. Because you can't teleport as, as fast as you could before. But I know my boy Conway... Last ladder, he had one of the most godly Amazons I've ever seen. Uh, level 95, 96, I don't know, some shit like that. It's crazy. Hardcore. Um, had Enigma, Infinity, I think 40 Storm Shield, all sorts of shit. He'd experiment between like Griffins and Shaco. But I think there comes a point where you don't really need the Griffins in general. But like I said, it does help because you it's really beneficial to pierce their lightning res more after Infinity Breaks and Immunity. But if you're doing enough damage, you know, in, in, in a lot of cases it still just doesn't even matter. But I'm thinking with these endgame maps and Path of Diablo, these uh, additional ones this season, you know, it, it might be worth having Griffins on still with Infinity. Or just pop on a T-Strokes and wear a Cure's Guardian. I might experiment with that a little bit. But then you're not getting the, uh, you know, the bonuses of Titans. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. This is the first time I've made an Infinity. In a long damn time, man. I don't even remember the last time I made one, and I can't think if I made one um, in Path of Diablo yet or not. I don't think I did. <laughs> but, so I'll be making some videos running the endgame stuff and just experimenting with this. I'm really going to miss my Merc, ain't going to lie. My Merc was super thick. So, hopefully I won't regret, you know, losing him and, and blowing all my currency on this item. Show you the gear. We're in uh, Titan's Revenge. I need one with IES Corruption. Griffin's Eye, I didn't put shit in the helm yet. Nice Vidalis combination. It would be nice to get a T-Gods with Pierce Corruption on it. Then I can uh, get rid of the Vidalis Amulet and wear something else. After I pump a few more points into Pierce. My Storm Shield, I have it filled now with two IAS jewels, one three mana per kill jewel, and a diamond. My Treachery hasn't cast yet. Fade, so here's her resist. I kind of rely on that, but problem is it's really dangerous when you rely on your Treachery to cast Fade. If you have your resistances built around that. Because it often doesn't cast, man. It can take a while for it to cast. So if your Lightning Rest sucks without Treachery's Fade, and you're relying on it, you could stumble across a horde of enemies who do godly light damage. See that? That was a lot of fire damage those guys just did. It almost killed my character. So that's the problem when you rely on treachery. So I'm kind of wanting to push away from it. I might go back, now that I have Infinity, to try out my Kira's Guardian. Because I have a two-socketed one. And then I won't have to rely on treachery anymore, but I might take a hit in my attack speed. So yeah, she kills Diablo faster now with that conviction applied to him. Ooh, look at this. 
Barbarian circlet. But there you have it, dogs. Let me know what you think about this stuff so far. So I actually just received two new patrons today. I was stoked as a fat little toad to see that on my email notifications. One $10 patron and one $5 patron. It's absolute hog. I'm going to get rich as fuck playing Diablo 2 thanks to you guys. It's a dream come true. Never thought when I was a little duck bill that I'd be able to make money playing Diablo. So this is absolute toad. Dream come true, man. So thank you guys for helping fat boy just kind of tool along here. So first off, we have Jay Lynn. Jay Lynn uh, pledging $10. Absolute toad. Thank you, sir. And then I received another email that I got Mike as a patron. So, yeah, thank you guys for supporting me as you have. There we go. We got this one down. Jay Lynn and Mike D. Now, it's kind of fucked up on the board. You know, I'm running out of space. So I might have to get a new board. Or just write these names smaller. So thank you guys for supporting me as you have. May the creator bless you and keep you. And uh, I'm really looking forward to messing around with this infinity. What I did was... I checked out these uh, IAS breakpoints. You see that? I went online, some calculator. You can type in the type of character it's for. And I did the Murktown Guard. He's wearing a giant thrasher. He's using his jab skill. And it shows you the IAS. You see that? I can't remember I found this shit, man. Just hit me up on Facebook if y'all want to find this calculator because I, I might be able to link it to you. So I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace be with you.